Okay, our project was a documentary project. We worked with a colleague of mine, Dr. Michael Melton, and uh, we both received grants for the same project. And what we wanted to do was create a collection of mountain memories. We interviewed several uh, community members and talked to them about growing up in the mountains. And the kids did all the work. I'd like to say that I did, but I didn't do anything. They know how to do it all. They know how to run the equipment. They know how to set the equipment up. They know how to do the editing. I don't know what I'll do next year when I have to start a new batch of kids. I guess I'll have to bring them back in. But you can go ahead and hit the next thing. Um, the grand expectations, of course, um, was innovation. And normally my journalism class was a print media type of class. We printed a new student newspaper monthly and that's about all we did as far as media goes. And then Willa Johnson, one of my former students who works with KVEC, um, she works with the hauler at KVEC and you can see all their little hauler shirts. Um, she came in and asked for uh, my students to work on some media projects. So I thought that'd be a great idea and they just took off with it. After seeing their first batch of um, um, projects presented on the hauler, it the impact that it had on those students, I knew that we had to take it a little bit farther. And that's why I applied for the grant. Go ahead and do it next. Um, this is the beginning. I don't know if you can see it or not because we're all there in the, probably in the way. But you can see them learning to use the equipment, the, the cameras and the editing equipment, and learning how to do interview skills. And this Arnold Mullins, he was one of the first uh, people in the community that we interviewed. Um, it was a really good day for the kids. They went down to Letcher Manor where he was living and they were there for a few hours with him, weren't you? And unfortunately, since um, we began the project, Arnold had, has passed away. So it's really good that we got him on video. His uh, granddaughter actually contacted uh, myself and Mr. Melton and um, was so glad that the kids came to visit and that he talked about how, what a great kids we had and now we'll have that on video and we'll be able to pass that on to his family. Some of the content taught of course was vocabulary from the industry. We never knew what B-roll was before. Well I didn't anyway. Some of the kids did because they worked with AMI in the past. Um, they learned the features of the cameras and the audio equipment. I didn't know what a zoom was before. It's just an, an audio equipment that captures audio. They learned some proper interviewing skills. They, uh, Willa talked to them about how to set up angles for the interviews. Um, and the biggest thing was the software to edit all that. It's not a fun process. But they have learned, we watched many, many tutorials and we have learned to do that. The benefits of participation, I listed some for the slide, but this is where I want the kids to talk. This is where I want you, them to tell you what they gained from working through this program. And we'll start with Tristan. Uh, yeah, so I started working through, uh, with media through the Appalachian Media Institute in 2015 uh, with Willa Johnson. Uh, and then later, after that summer, she ended up moving to KVEC, and I just kind of followed her there. And... Um, that was, I guess, last year, and uh, we each just started working on our own little pieces through the hauler and became the fire share fellows. <clears throat> and um, it's really a, it's a super great opportunity for, um, for the students here, especially uh, nothing like this has ever really taken place in the school. So I think it's a really great opportunity, and I'm glad to be a part of it, and I'm, I'm glad that everyone's here. Okay, next we have Shelby and John. Um, before, like Tristan said, we did our own little projects before we started the documentary. And I had never used like a camera like that or like the Zoom. I never knew how to do any of that. And I just kind of learned myself to use the camera, use all that, edit it. And it's a really neat process if you've never done it because I feel like, I, like, I feel like I've gained so much by using the cameras and everything. And before we started this, like our own little projects, I went to the middle schools and uh, did like a big project. And I learned so much like interviewing people. I'd never spoke in front of people before. And it just is a really great experience. Like and Tristan said, we never had anything like this at our school before. So I feel like we got a big opportunity to do something that we don't really get to do. And um, it's just been really great for me, so. Um, like. Uh, Shelby said that 
we had never done this before and working with Willa and Kavek and the Holler has been a great experience because I never really did a interview or videoed an interview or anything, but uh, it's been a great experience. Andy doesn't like to talk in front of people, but didn't he do a good job? <laughs> okay, Michael. I'm Michael. Uh, I started this class this year thinking it'd be really easy, you know, bring my GPF a little bit. But uh, as it went on, I realized it was more than that. I was sort of in it to help with the newspaper so I could just have my name there, you know. But when we started doing the project, uh, a lot of people are shy and they want to interview anybody. So I got volunteered to do that. And uh, I got to meet some really great people. Uh, it's helped with my communication skills a lot. Uh, in fact, in February, I had a college interview and it went really good. And, uh, it, you know, I think it's just a great thing to talk to so many good people in the community and just to get to know everybody, to know that those people are there, that you just don't live in a wasteland, you know. But uh, it's been great. I've learned so much. Uh, I had a job interview a week ago. It went really good. And uh, I have the holler and this project we're working on to thank for that. So, yeah. And now Miss Emily. Hello, my name is Emily Collier and I'm here to talk about the editing of software that we use. We used Adobe Premiere Pro and it was not an easy process to use. Uh, we went through a lot of trial and error of um, uploading footage, deleting footage, uh, trying to see what fit in what spot and seeing what audio needed to be where and overlapping music to the documentary and everything. It wasn't an easy process, but um, I'm very glad I learned how to use this program. Um, if I want to go into journalism or anything like that and do footage, um, this editing software is really good for that. Um, and like Michael said, with taking this class, we never thought we were going to be filming and stuff. I was more of a photography person behind the lens, not really talking to people and stuff. But it has been a really great experience to work with this documentary and see how um, how easy it actually is to communicate with people if you just open up and you're not shy. Um, but I think this part has been really great. Thanks, Emily. And now Hannah and Cameron. Hi, my name is Hannah, and working on this documentary has been a life-changing experience for me. It's really opened my eyes to know that we need to, um, you know, be more involved in our culture and our heritage. Uh, we're so consumed in technology and being in the future that we forget about our past, and we need our past to evolve our future. And uh, it's projects like this that are capturing our culture and our memories in the past, and I think it's really great, and there should be more projects like this. Uh, I'm Cameron, and like Hannah said, it's really great to be able to hear the stories of the older people. And um, for me personally, I got to interview my great-grandmother. She's 93, and she is still kicking. She, she can get around. And um, I got to hear about her, like, farming and everything and how her and my great-grandma, I mean, my great-grandpa, I never met him, but I got to meet how, I got to see how they lived in this area and how, like, the mines was just booming and everything, and it was a great experience because I go to her house every Sunday, but I never heard those stories, and whenever you actually sit down and listen to them, it really makes you think, like, wow, this area was great, and people don't appreciate it as much as it should be appreciated. And stuff like this makes you really appreciate where you're from and appreciate the mountains that you're in. So. And we have a segment of the video, if you'll go to the last slide. Um, oh, I hope it plays. Maybe not. I have it on a, a drive here if we need to hook it up real quick. It's just the first segment where they're talking about their childhood. Okay, hold on just a Let me put the, am I out of time? Okay, well, 
we'll we'll have it up on the holler here soon. Hopefully, you all will check that out and and watch the video. Thank you all. Does anyone have any questions? I'm sorry, I didn't ask that. You have any questions for me or the kids? Okay, thank you all.